If you notice, I haven't uploaded a YouTube video in the past couple months. And that was because I was waiting for the correct fit for the stream and the community. And to see what game would best serve all the all the interests and needs. And so it, that's why there isn't any Overwatch videos, any Overwatch content on the, sh on the YouTube channel. But this is the first video since that time. I mean, I've been streaming every day, but I've been streaming mostly every day, but there hasn't been a lot of YouTube videos pushed out. But, you know, I had a lot of options when deciding what, I, what direction I wanted to take the channel in, and that's where I struggled until I found a solution. I was thinking maybe, you know, I could play League of Legends. Yeah, kill me, kill me, yeah, kill me, kill me, kill me, kill me, kill me, kill me. Maybe I could play, go back to Overwatch when the update for the workshop comes out, comes out on PTR, which did come out. I can't wait to play it. Or maybe I would try my, uh, <laughs> try to, try to play an MMO. Well, I did, like Desert Online, but nothing quite fit just as right as Warframe. Uh, Warframe is a game where you play as Tenno. Descendants of an ancient and mystical civilization of lost warriors from an Oregon era and you on unlock Earth. planets by playing For the mission. generations you slept. No purpose. No call to wake you. Wake up, Tenno. You need to wake up. Part of the backstory is that you're preserved in a cryopod for many centuries and then you awaken to fight a war between varying factions. So, these are some of the old great clips and memories from the stream on Warframe and some of the new ones that will show you what's been happening in the stream. I saw that. I saw that. I saw that. I saw that. Who's going down? Is it you? Is it you, Wildfire? With your prime sandana? Hey. Oh my goodness, that was creepy. Oh, no, it's just, you know, I like training people. Hold on. I'll dance for me. Look at the animation. It's like, it reminds me of like, you know, look how fast she's moving. Oh, she, she's moving so fast. Look at this animation, right? You don't get this everywhere else, you know? You know by how fast she can move that the, you know, the suck must be good. What was that? It's probably like level 100. Anyway. Yep, level 100. Alright, here we go. This is gonna be an easy one. He's dead. <laughs> so it's already more. Nice. That's cool. So this is what my build looks for Atarax, and it's pretty OP. Blood Rush, 130, 135% crit chance. Stacks with combo multiplier, 30% attack speed. Max 75% or 25 then 24 seconds on crit hit, which is a 90% chance. <laughs> Ping. If if this is the mission that if this I was just gonna say if this is the mission that gives me Avara chassis, I'm gonna go crazy. And I just got Avara chassis. I'm clipping this instant clip, instant clip. I get a thousand ping. So now that I've committed to becoming a Warframe content creator, let me dish out the first piece of advice for any any player that doesn't have the Redeemer Prime. Get the Redeemer Prime. That's you can push this weapon 
so hard, and you might be thinking, you know, my Tigris Prime has 19,000 viral damage. How can this weapon with 500 viral damage and less status chance equate to a Tigris Prime? Well, the main, um, the main contributing mods to this build is not the status or the dual stat mods. The main contributing status to this build is grouping wounds and condition overload. This pushes your 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 damage so far and you will do so much damage with the redeemer prime even if it's a melee weapon the range on it is it's really good for the mr19 test but i'll get more into that in another video on mastery tests but for now you want to build this for status you can build for crit but i prefer status because there are you can push this to 100% status almost, but you want to have Weeping Wounds and Conditional Reload. And that's why I sacrificed the status. You have those two mods. These are essential to the build. Now, why would you use this instead of Tigris Prime? Well, this is a melee weapon. In the missions that you need melee weapons, a strong melee weapon, you're going to need the Redeemer Prime and Sororities and all these kind of missions to be able to carry you through 100, level 100, 130, as I just will show, the gameplay will show right here. Um, and the last thing I want to say about uh, the Redeemer Prime, if you need a set, if you need Platinum, if you want to get some cool drops, items, be sure to check out my stream, I do get, I do get, I do daily giveaways and you're bound to pick up something eventually so be sure to catch the stream at twitch.tv slash precaution 8 and be sure to come and witness the warframe community that we're building on twitch um i hope you all have a great day thank you for taking the time to watch the video and enjoy yourself how do you need to wake up like this guy man